things we're going to make or show you how to make is, is a simple dolphin. What you want to do is start by rolling it out in a ball and then elongate it a little bit more so that we end up with a tighter end up here and more of a longer taper towards the back. This is going to give you the basic body to the dolphin. Then pinching the nose up in front and pinching it up on the top, that gives you that upper fin. And then start elongating the body down more and more until it becomes real tight at the base there. Then take your excess and kind of push it up a little bit to create the two sides of the rear tail fin. Now what you want to do is flatten it out at the very, very base of it. And you notice that I'm leaving it real thin along this back side and leaving kind of a ridge up here. This creates more of a believable fin when you're finished. And then take your sculpting knife that you're given and just circle it out, as you see, from the center of the fin, the center of the tail of the fin, and then flatten it out a little bit more to give it that extra body and length that you would see in the tail. Now come back and with your knife, wrap it around the front right by the nose and poke your eyes. This gives the natural shape of the nose and then again in the mouth area. This gives you the seam for the mouth so that when it dries you'll see it in there. And then with the leftover piece you create the fins for underneath him. Rolling into the ball again first and then rolling it out on the table tapering both ends so that you're fatter in the center. You wanted to create the smaller portion of the fins on the outside edges and then taking your knife and just roll it very lightly so it, it starts to divide it but don't cut it all the way through. You want to create kind of like two little bottles there together tapering them a little bit more at the end. Now you have the fins ready to be flattened out so that it creates that pointed fin like you would see in that of a dolphin. And then taking just a little bit of the glue take just a little bit, dab it on the underside and attach your flippers. Then you're ready for it to be put in the position you want it to dry overnight and you'll be ready to paint in the morning.